and just you wait, we are at 80 percent now, but soon we're going to be at 100. It's going to be something to see. 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 So what was that, Jimmy? It's going to be something to see. Yeah. So uh, we are going to present to you with our special guest monologist, who I will introduce in just a second. Ooh. Little worlds of improv in the Armando style, to those of you who that means anything to. But, so, we will take scenes. And Can I do the non-nerd explanation? So, for the non-improv nerds in the room, somebody's going to tell some stories, and then we're going to do scenes inspired by those stories, and then we'll go back to hearing some stories, and then we'll do more scenes. It's Julie. <laughs> Julie's, Julie's coming back from class. Yes. She's shot. <laughs> She's coming, everybody. <laughs> I think of all the shit that I collect, um, and I think of people being of a certain vintage. It makes me think that people who are of a certain age are sometimes like, oh, so uh, I, I work in the world of science fiction and fantasy, so I go to uh, a big convention called Worldcon sometimes, which is where the Hugo Award, amongst other things, are presented for science fiction books. Uh, the last one I went to was in Helsinki. It's lovely. Uh, there's a big party for the Hugos, and there's a guy who pays for the party afterwards. His name's George R.R. R. Martin. You might have come across him. Um, but yeah, so he pays for the whole party, uh, and which is a lovely thing. Uh, you can go to the bar, you can buy very expensive European gin for like 100 euros, and you just get it. But what blew my mind, and it could be because he's of a certain style that he's settled into, is he's a weird little bearded fat man who dresses like Donald Duck. <laughs> <laughs> and he does have trousers, that's the only thing. <laughs> But the whole night I was just staring at this weird little guy and you've made millions and you look like that. <laughs> Extraordinary. Thank you everybody! See, you've collected more shit. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of shit. You like my shit? I really, really don't. I'm really concerned that our house is covered in shit. Honey, I like the shit. I need the shit. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't talk to me like that. Honey. <laughs> honey, honey. I make you a cup of tea. But a cup of tea would be nice. But this is... I'm not sure... Hey! I'm not... Don't you touch my shit. That's my special shit. That's the banana flavor shit. <laughs> this is too much shit for one house with two people. It's valuable? It's not valuable. Mommy, Diddy, have you forgotten about me? Eh, go away. <laughs> this is valuable, that's our child. She that is our child. What? Look at what's become of you. You've covered our kitchen in shit. Yeah. You haven't made my tea, and you're ignoring our little beautiful child. Thank you, Daddy. I can't find my bed again. <laughs> it's covered in my sheets. <laughs> that's why we're Look, Sarah, Sarah, I love you, but you need to collect stuff and then we will bond. Well, I've put, and you too. I've put things under my bed, Mom. Well done. Is the things on top of the bed, though? You don't need to sleep there. It's okay. Listen, darlings, I love you both, but you need to, we need stuff in our lives. It's how we live. This is a Pez dispenser that looks like Yoda. Yes! <laughs> this is a collection of banana flavoured Pezes yes. from 1978. Yes, don't eat them. <laughs> <laughs> this is four jigsaws yes. themed for Return of the Jedi. Thanks, me too much. 
Daddy. It means you need to speak to an educational psychologist. What are the educational what psychologists it? say? I don't know. I'm asking you. What does it mean? It, it means this is an unfit environment for children. Oh. Dad, the plastic trumpets. I do like that, Daddy. We're going to keep both of I, I am all your sheet come to life. <laughs> You're my one true friends. Forget my husband, forget my children. You and me, we're going to live together and be happy ever after. Yes, look how I have grown. Yes. First I was a collection under a bed. Now I am a whole house full of Star Wars memorabilia. <laughs> look at my finger. Each fingernail is a Lego Millennium Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Please, grow bigger, take over the world for me. Mommy, come <laughs> here! I'm trapped underneath this pile of detritus! It's Can you help me, Mommy? Pay um, no attention to the boy <laughs> under the Jedi robe. Sandra, oh, it's me! Mommy! I love you still! We can work this out! But this is my true friend! We he love you. Me? Do you I, I hate you, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Silence. Mummy, Mummy, the psychologist said I need more work doing, Mummy. There is no psychology in Star Wars. No. <laughs> <laughs> Now, welcome to this collection of world-famous fantasy authors themed like ducks. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Yes, J.R.R. Duck Token. <laughs> now, I think we should lord it over all the other fantasy writers which don't have HBO series. <laughs> do you take ice in your gym? Yes, I do! Oh! That's given me a wonderful idea! You're... JR! JR! It's okay, you've got real hands! <laughs> this is... We can't let the lifestyle get in the way of our drinking! Cheers! I don't know, man. I think pretending to be ducks. 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 I'm not sure it's working for us. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm too. Late. <laughs> it's me, Michael. Michael Mallard. Smith. <laughs> niche. What did you write? Wait, wait, wait. I own mostly forwards or something. It's not very well known. You just wrote the forwards in books? Yes, I did. Yes. Welcome. <laughs> I'm not sure this is the group for you. We are very <laughs> successful fantasy writers that pretend to be ducks. I have a strap on Bill. Philip K. Duck here. Oh, yeah! 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 Uh, my lord's actually have a corkscrew penis. Well, maybe, maybe we should sort of, as you say, forget the ducks. Mm -hmm. and maybe go back to fancy writing. I was thinking geese. I'm not sure how this solves any problem. Well, it, it gets.
nice people talking. They're already talking about us. We're the most successful fantasy writers of all time. Not the most successful. Uh, it is I, the ghost of William Drake Spear. <laughs> <laughs> I can see I'm not wanted. <laughs> <laughs> I just think we'll get bored. <laughs> <laughs> I just think we're gonna get bored if we're, we're just gonna get bored being incredibly successful fantasy writers. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, we're we're just sort of we're just getting drunk all the time. Is all we do is drink gin. But I'm not sure pretending to be ducks is adding okay, anything to that. Okay. And what would add to your? What would what would stimulate you? Box and minis. Box. Lots of box and minis around. I've got the books. No, 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 not books and minis. Books. Box and minis. Box and box and <laughs> box and ladies. Box. Wenchful. <laughs> Wenchful. <laughs> Wenchful ladies. Not, well, I didn't write the the Game of Thrones series without having a commanding sense of vocabulary. <laughs> Tell you somebody. Say, Somebody once said to me, I look like I've been poured into this, this hoodie and <laughs> somebody had forgotten to say when. She does Can I say when? when? <laughs> uh, would, what would that mean? Would that mean... The scene is over? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> God, there's some weird people in the room next door. Oh, 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 do you want some gin? Oh, they've left some, haven't they? Yep. Hundred euros. I mean, the, the two dressed as ducks, they were a bit weird. Yep. Apparently they're really famous. Oh yeah, oh yeah. No, anything I've ever read. What have you read? Um, instruction manuals for building. Legos. Wait. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That... I, I don't look like a Lego builder, do I? <laughs> No, you don't. I look like a man in a rabbit costume, don't I? <laughs> well, I, didn't, I didn't like to say that, but... No. You, I didn't oh. a rabbit. But the whole thing's a bit weird, isn't it? Yes, I I, mean, I, I don't understand people that dress up as ducks, I have to say. No, no but rabbits? Well, obviously rabbits. <laughs> Ob obviously. <laughs> this is a rabbit hotel. <laughs> <laughs> they, they rented a room at a rabbit hotel and they're dressed as ducks. So it doesn't make any sense to me. Oh God, I've come to the wrong convention. It seems like you'd rather have. What? What are you usually in for? Well, you don't like the hundred dollar gin. You don't like the rabbit theming. You don't like the little warren you can crawl into. I, I was here for the Shakespeare. Oh, you're one of those. Bloody <laughs> carrots! <laughs> <laughs> right, Ed Floxy, we're for the usual boho for the week. Jesus Christ! Yeah? Yeah, well, I know. Come on! <laughs> so, she's, she's some sort of culture vulture. And oh. I know what you mean. Not even a vulture. <laughs> no, no, no. It's. Honestly, you, you, try and, you try and run a business in, in a failing economy, dare I say. And, you know, you, you hope that there's a receptive audience to your ideas. And there's. <coughs> You know, apart from, apart from the you guys are the only reason I stay alive. Oh. Both economically and as a person. Can we have a gin with the carrots? Of course you can, that's a hundred euros. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see what I'm talking to? <laughs> Please welcome back to the stage, oh. Armenologist. Oh. <laughs> It's very hard to think of Doctor Who about Doctor Who, since I was just impossible to see an actual Doctor. But you can see a, a Doctor Who on the TV all the time. Uh, I haven't watched the last eight seasons, so I'm sure they're dead good. Um, <laughs> most of my memories are from, are from being quite small, and obviously many people just hid behind a sofa while doing things. But the, the series that I remember most distinctly is the Sylvester McCoy series, uh, which some may remember, most people think is absolute wank. Um, him, and, him and Ace are sort of leather-jacketed lady hanging out, doing cool stuff. Uh, there are two, two bits of it that, that petrified me. Uh, one was a thing where they just had like a weird dark shape, which was frightening <laughs> enough to mean that I couldn't go in the garden at night. <laughs> that was vision. Uh, but much more importantly, the one with the cats in it, where the cat people are kind of infecting them and becoming like were-cats, 
And the bit I remember is the end of the episode where Ace turns to the Doctor and opens her eyes and she's got fucking cat eyes. And I've never been so frightened in my entire life. Uh, nothing has ever harmed me internally as much as the idea that people might become other things at some point during their existence. It's an awful prospect. I hope it doesn't happen again. <laughs> So, Mr. Mr. Brown, yeah. if you could come from behind the... Uh, the um, can you promise me there won't be any Daleks? Um, I, can't, I can't really assess you behind the sofa. Investigate! <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm perfectly fine behind the sofa, thank you very much. We'll, we'll have to continue your, your psychological investigation to here, thank you. Okay, so Evaluate! <laughs> how long have you been seeing and hearing things um, that aren't real? Like, 1963? <laughs> <laughs> 1963. Will, are, you, will you, are you... Are you going to, to, to say bad things to my mum and dad? Well... They died, so that's going to be quite difficult. Oh, uh, um, gosh. Um, Sorry. What, what if I went back in time, though? Would that? What, like a like a time lord? Yes, like, like a time lord. If you have one. <laughs> if I had one. Yes. Okay. Do you, do you have a, Do you have a time lord present? Um. Not the master. What one of the nice ones? One of the. <laughs> Mr. Brown, the reason you're here is because you're delusional. <laughs> okay? I can't produce a Time Lord because they don't exist. Uh, okay. Um... Hello! It's me, the Doctor in this psychiatric hospital. Doctor Who, you might ask? Doctor Jones, chief psychologist. Sorry, thank, you, thank you, Dr. Jones. <laughs> Sorry, it's it's Mr. Brown, you're, you, you've come from behind the sofa and you seem a I little have, it's agitated. Safe now. Do you want to sit down and we can carry on this? Please, sit in this chair, my young assistant. It might be larger than it looks from the outside. <laughs> <laughs> this chair is expensive. <laughs> Dimensionally transcendental chair. Can I just say, Mr. Brown, that you seem slightly different now? Has something happened? Well, ha well are yes, you don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 nothing's changed. I just don't need a psychological evaluation anymore. I'm perfectly fine. Evaluate. Ah! Oh. It's okay, my dear boy. I will take you off to the Second World War, where we can learn about rationing. I love the Second World War. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry, we weren't talking. We were talking about. Hi, Doctor. How long have I waited to wreak my revenge? Oh, oh, no! No! Oh, no! 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 I'm in control. Well, that's very good to hear. So the chair is bigger, though. Yes, but yours is bigger on the inside, remember? Yes, of course, of course. You're fine. Her, her chair is only big on the outside. She, she has no power. She has no power. She can't do anything. She doesn't know I exist. Okay, uh, Mr. Brown, can I call you? Can I call you Bill? Is that okay? Say no. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, well, we have been seeing rather a lot of each other, Mr. Brown, and I just want to get to the bottom of why 
you're hearing and seeing things that nobody else. Just don't tell her anything. She's part of them. Inside is a creature writhing and wrangling to get out and kill you. <gasps> you can see inside her eyes. That side. <laughs> I don't feel that we are getting any further and I think perhaps we should have a break and I'll see you again. Don't take your eyes off her as you leave the room. Okay. Don't blink. Remember, she'll kill you if you blink. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow, Miss Brown. Of Just course. Yes. yes, yes. Um, oh, I should mention when I was sick so I watched my cat die. What, you're almost sucking me? I almost sucked. <laughs> <laughs> what a fabulous memory that's going to be, eh? Yeah. yeah? Is that a highlight? The highlight of dating you, is it? A, 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 a transitory or semi-sock? You imagine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? yeah, actually, if you can't love me for that, well then I don't think that this was ever going to work. God damn it, I do love you. You and your little sucky teeth when you have the <laughs> I love to suck with my teeth. <laughs> oh, leave it in there. Jesus Christ, you've got the eyes of a cat, you know. <laughs> I'm so hot right now. Wow. I don't know about this energy stags, I don't know what we're doing. I'm not sure what this about. I, don't. I feel like we're going to have sex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling Ladies absolutely. and gentlemen, that's been our show. We've been the Vox Pops. Thank you very much. Woo!